Hello my creepy friends, uh, welcome to Fern's Edge, your one-stop shop for horror art. Today we're going to be drawing uh, Chucky from Child's Place 2. My favorite scene in this movie is when Chucky gets locked in the closet. and exacts revenge on Andy's teacher, Miss Kettlewell. This scene is just so creepy. I love it. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start by creating a new canvas. I like to draw in 11 inches by 11 inches, but you can really put whatever size you like. I put a paper texture down um, just to kind of give it some more character, turn that texture into linear burn, and then put a, a neutral gray background. We're going to be drawing with a grid today, so I went into um, drawing guides and set my grid to 205 pixels and then also made it a color that I can um, easily see when I'm drawing. In another uh, file, I inserted my reference image with the same exact grid, took a screenshot, and then pulled it up in my canvas I'm drawing in as a reference. So you'll notice that the grid is exactly the same. So how you get started with this method is you count the amount of squares to a feature in the face that's pretty predominant. Um, in this one, I use the eye. So if you notice, I'm counting the same amount of squares down and across. I draw with the out-of-the-box HB and 6B pencils, and I also work reductively um, with the same settings but just in the eraser. So you're going to want to line up your grid as best as possible with the reference photo and the grid that's on your canvas. And the name of the game is just to make the shapes in each square match as much as possible in the reference. What I try to do first is lay a baseline of shadows. I do that by using the side of the apple pencil. And once I can get some mid-tones out, I can add the darker shades and then use the eraser to pull out the lighter shades. And I go through and I do this uh, for every square that's in the grid. I just work square by square, moving my way forward.
I alternate from using a light gray and a dark gray to build up the shadows. I also like to zoom out sometimes to make sure that everything looks right. Try to keep your grid and the reference grid the same size and lined up so all you have to do is make the drawing the exact same size as the reference. So I'm not exactly caught up with all of the Chucky lore. I understand there's a lot of movies that are more uh, like in the comedy direction. I chose this one because when I saw this movie as a child, it was very scary, but also super fascinating. I really like how uh, the puppetry works in this movies and the effects. I chose this scene in particular because Miss Kettlewell just seemed like the worst. Obviously she does deserve to get murdered, but she's the worst. What made this movie so scary for me as a child is this dichotomy of something that is supposed to be cute and playful also being evil. I really like it when things are both at the same time.
So the final step is to clean everything up, go in with an eraser and add the highlights, and then also add the highlights with a white pencil. So this is the final project. I went in and add some kind of hand-drawn elements. And this is what it looks like detailed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.